All right, Wayne, these are your unedited videos to kind of show you how the site works. Uh, please excuse my cold or my cough. That's probably the only time I'll pause these so you don't hear that horrendous uh, cough there. Um, you can pause these videos, slow them down, do whatever you need, rewatch them if you miss something, and uh, also come back to them. So let's go ahead and get started. Here we have the main page of your website. I'm just doing some different things here. Uh, we come down, we've got this area needs to be filled in, which I did not finish. Um, it's not that I didn't finish it, we just let room for you know anything that you may need in the future. Or I'm actually going to put something in there now so you can see, and uh, we'll call that 100% complete as well. So this is the slider area, just so you can hear some of my call outs, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. This is the top bar, everything in the top bar, none of these are set as well, but these will normally be to your account. So you can see in the bottom left hand corner over here, as I highlight one, it says Facebook, Google, I'm talking about down here, LinkedIn, um, and such on. So this is the menu area. Obviously you have menus and you have sub menus. These be sub menus down here in the gray. Different slides. Three of them currently. Your slider buttons. The text that you want changed. I'm going to show you how to do that today. Really easy. There's a bunch of presets as well as a couple of column categories here. Your calendar events, latest news, your phantom scrambles, and the sponsored brands as well as the footer. So let's go over a couple of these features on the back end. If you go to Ghost Riders MC, WP Admin, hit enter, you're going to be brought to this screen here where you can put in the information that I sent you. Awesome. This is the dashboard area. So if I talk about going to the dashboard, you know exactly where we are. To reset and come back to this main page, you'd always click this dashboard button. So say I was on one of these pages, to get back, I would just click this dashboard button here. No big deal. All right, so if we once we're logged in, we come back to our site. If you refresh your site, you're going to see this bar across the top, which is kind of like your little admin bar that'll help you out during this process. If you're ever on one of these pages, you can always edit this page directly from the front by clicking edit page from up here at the top. It's going to bring us to the about us page. You can see this is the title for the page. I'm actually going to open up another page so we can see what's going on. The title, About Us. This is also in the About Us, About Us. This is the information on the page. If you wanted to switch some of this out, if you highlight over this, you can actually see I put this in a heading 2. If I wanted it in a heading 3, I could simply come down here and switch it up. That's going to switch the size. It's a heading size. I'm going to move that back to 2. <laughs> This one here, you can see it's in paragraph format, obviously there. You could bold something by clicking the bold. Actually, you can use all these shortcut icons to do something in this text, as well as use the add media. So here you'll see some things. I'm going to go ahead and start a new line. So at the bottom of BLM, which is right here, BLM, I'm going to go ahead and insert an image. From my media library by clicking media library if I wanted to upload an image simply come here pick it from my desktop um, I'm, I'm actually in my folders and uh, I'll show you desktop I'm gonna go into my web projects March Ghost Riders images fantasy bike images I'm going to pick out this dirt bike picture. It'll take a sec to load this picture up because it's pretty big. These are the previous items I have in your media gallery already. You could obviously just select one of these and insert in the page by pressing this button. But I uploaded a new one, which is right here. I want to insert it into the page, but it gives me some features. I can align it left, which means the text will fall on right. I can align it center. I can give it no align, or I can align it right. I'm going to go ahead with align left. Um, just because I'm really not going to need any alignment, it's lasting on the page. Uh, the size, I'm going to put in a new size, let's say 30187, insert it in the page. So now I've got this picture. I click update. I've got this picture at the bottom, and I'm going to go ahead and leave that in so you can kind of see what happened, um, you know, and see see how I've made these changes. So pretty easy there. You kind of edit text, edit words, add pictures. Now you said you weren't familiar with links. I'm going to show you how to do that real quick. If I highlight this right here, meeting location at the Round Tape Pizza, 
and I click this link button this is how I create the link now I'm gonna go back here click the contact us page that brings me to this this contact information it's got a little map on it I'm gonna go ahead and copy this this location right here in the bar I'm gonna use that add link click update and now you see how it formats that text like this you know that's a link so when I come back to the about us page you should be able to see that link right there now you can't really tell it's a link because it's still in yellow um, you know so unless somebody highlights over it you could come back hypothetically come back maybe underline it click update and that might reference it more as a link so when I refresh this page you should be able to see that this is now underlined with that underline I, I might know it's more a link you might even want to switch this color to blue and you would come back come here your colors right here I can easily switch it to blue I would click update and then when I came back here it would be blue but I'm not gonna switch it to blue right now because I don't feel like changing that part back we, we switched everything else I kind of like the way this looks and feels I'm gonna leave it like that so when I click on this this takes me straight to the contact page well that's really might not be where you want to link it to so what you'll do is come back here click the link or you can click unlink to not make it a link anymore but if you click the link you can relink it just type in a new link here easy stuff so we've kind of went over how to edit the pages and how to change information on the pages uh, that's pretty much it all you need on this page is this area here I was looking down at this you're not really gonna need this, this is for if you want to restrict the content on that page um, like we did with some of your pages over here we've restricted the content um, some of this stuff here uh, if you want to allow comments on the page which sidebar you want on the page currently we already have your sidebar set up on the about us page we have it set up and this is going to be your sidebar area and I'll show you how to adjust those too so you kind of know how to you know adjust your page information if you want to adjust same thing what's new isn't really a page it's um, it's more like your blog we said so you wouldn't really edit anything here if you come to this page well there's nothing here yeah there's nothing here because that page that we're looking at is actually your latest blog post so to change these uh, let's say get ready to ride is called one and one's called big air jumps I would come here go to post and this is right from the dashboard page you'll see the post on the left hand side here and we've got get ready to ride and big air jumps so if I wanted to edit some of those let's say I want to edit get ready to ride this is the information here this is the title as well as if you want there's a featured image um, the featured image will look something like this one here. I set a featured image, so new site design. I actually went down here, set featured image. Remember, you can upload your file, or I can select from media library. Well, this time I'm going to select this one. I've already uploaded that. If I click update, refresh my What's News page. Now this one has a nice featured image. Get ready to ride. So if you didn't want that featured image, you can come right back down here, hit remove featured image, hit update, and when you update it, this featured image will be gone. But for right now, I'm going to leave it there. No big deal. Say you want to add a new post. This is the uh, test post for videos. Please see video. Now if I wanted to maybe make an audio or a video file, I could obviously paste the embed code here, which let me show you real quick. If you ever need to paste the YouTube video, it's the greatest way to do it, man. Uh, the newest thing, let's see. I'll put this on pause. Whenever you're looking at a YouTube video, it's right here. Usually either right here or up in the right hand corner, you'll find the share button. In this case, it's going to be right here. See how this goes gets bringed up, brought up. If you want to use this, you can share it. But we want to use this embed. Copy all the code in there, or you can highlight it and copy it. However you want to do, I press Control C. And that way, when you want to use this video and it says your embed code, you can just paste it. Control V. 
paste that in there. So this would be that, that video there. If I click publish, this is going to be one of the latest videos, you know, on the uh, What's New page. It's actually going to be in the, in the form of a video. And as you can see, this is the PC video as well as the title. Now, if you want to have a long description, you could obviously have that. They would have to click inside to get more of your video. Easy stuff. So that's kind of like what's new, your events page, what's happening there. So we talked about, you know, how to modify your pages, how to do like what's new, um, your events. We also will cover it's from the main dashboard. If you were to click, and I'm clicking the dashboard button again, so it refreshes everything. If you come down here to portfolio, this is where your events are going to be. Um, this is the current events that we have, um, any rides, any, any digs, anything like that. Um, if you come down to Portfolio Filter, or if you click on Portfolio first, it'll open up this little sub-menu. You'll want to click Portfolio Filter. If you have a new category for your, for your, like right now I have a Get Ready, which is, you know, when you guys are getting ready for races, when you guys are building races, maybe you're riding half that day, you know, but you're setting up the race, I put Get Ready. So this is one of your categories, as well as one of your ride. Maybe you want to add races. So I'm going to go ahead and add races. Uh, I put the slug as races. It tells you, you know, it's all the same. It's just usually lowercase. So it's just like a, a lowercase name of this with no spaces. I click add new category and now I've got a races category so when you're creating your portfolio and all I did was click back on this main portfolio it's the same thing as pages and posts I mean I can go into one of these and edit it by clicking on it or I can click add new to add a new event and that's gonna pull up the new event on here probably fill out this spot right here now for your categories you see I've got get ready and ride so I should have another category pull up as soon as I add one to it. So right now I don't have a category to it, so it's not going to display up here. But as soon as I create a new category, test event, I'm going to call this test event. And like we said, if we want a featured image, which, you know, this isn't an image inside this post. If I want to add a, an image inside this post, I just click add media. That's easy. You know, but I don't want to do that. I want to make a featured image, which is, these are featured images. So same thing over here, I would click set featured image. I'm going to use this image just so you can see the difference. I'll click publish. Oh, whoops. One more thing is you want to set the categories in these. In these. So get ready, races or rides. We're going to call this uh, races because I don't have anything for that category just so you can see how to create a new category as well as update it back. So if I come back to this page, refresh it, well now I have the three here. And it and it actually puts your event up top and pushes everything over. So that's great. Now if I come and just click races, well I only have one race. This is my test event, exactly how I showed you. If I click on the top, it's just gonna automatically uh redirect me to where I'm going. Get ready, ride, all. Alright. So pretty easy there. You can you can do your events there. If I come back to this portfolio page, hey, I don't want that event. You know that event's over. I don't even want to show it anymore. I'm just gonna click this trash button. It's gone. We'll come back, and it's gone. And the only thing we see that's up here that's different is obviously races is gone because there's no nothing assigned to the race category. So we don't want to show them the races because if they click on it, it's gonna be a blank screen. Pretty ugly. Uh, let's go ahead and stop this video because I'm hitting a 15 minute marker and I'll start you up another one. Mm, kind of see how that.